Hi, it's Kirk from WordPressTraining.com, and today I've got a unique WordPress training video for you. Some people might suggest this could be the most pointless WordPress training video ever created. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. Today I'm going to show you how you can blog in WordPress using the Lynx text-based web browser. Now, when I say pointless, I don't mean to offend Lynx or Lynx lovers. I'm a Lynx lover myself, but uh, to be honest, it's not something I use every day. It's a great tool for web developers to uh, test certain kinds of things, and really, most of the time, you're going to use a regular web browser. So why am I doing this? Uh, frequently, people will ask, well, what web browser do I need to use when I work with WordPress? And my answer always is, use whatever web browser you want. Uh, WordPress works with anything. So today we're going to prove that WordPress works with anything. We're actually going to blog in WordPress using the Lynx text browser. So let me uh, open up Lynx here in a new window. If you've never seen the Lynx web browser, you're in for a treat. There it is. That's the WordPress login screen in Lynx. I'm going to go ahead and enter my username and password. and click on the login link. And here we are. This is the WordPress dashboard in Lynx. Looks kind of different. Let's go ahead and click the right link. And then let's go ahead and write a post. Okay. Just need to scroll down to the title box. and scroll down to the post box and I'm just going to enter something short here. Uh, there you go. Now let's find that publish button and publish it. Okay, WordPress has um, posted our new post. Let's open up something closer to a web browser that most of you would recognize. Um, something more like a real web browser. Not like a real web browser, but like a graphical web browser. Uh, this is Safari, and this is the test server we just posted to in Lynx. I'm going to refresh this, and you're going to see the post we just uh, put up there in Lynx. There it is blogging from links in WordPress.